news that missing Titanic submersible passengers were killed in implosion. Before we dive into the story, make sure to subscribe to our channel. The U.S. Coast Guard announced on Thursday that a deep-sea submersible found in parts after a catastrophic implosion that killed everyone aboard brought an end to an international search that had been going on for five days. The submersible was carrying five people on a voyage to the remains of the Titanic, which is more than a century old. U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral John Mauger told reporters that a robotic diving vehicle that was deployed from a Canadian ship found a debris field from the submersible Titan on the seabed on Thursday morning, approximately 1,600 feet, 488 meters, from the bow of the Titanic. The debris field was located two and a half miles, four kilometers, below the surface in a remote part of the North Atlantic. After losing touch with its surface support ship on Sunday morning, approximately one hour and 45 minutes into what was supposed to be a two-hour dive to the world's most famous shipwreck, the Titan, which is managed by United States-based business Ocean Gate Expeditions, had not been seen or heard from since. The tail cone and two parts of the pressure hull of the 22-foot, 6.7-meter, Titan were among the five major pieces of the vessel that were found in the debris field that was left behind after its breakup, according to officials from the Coast Guard. There was not a single word said about whether or if any human remains were discovered. The debris field here is consistent with the catastrophic implosion of the vehicle, said Mauger. The vehicle appears to have been completely destroyed. Even before the Coast Guard had their news conference, OceanGate published a statement confirming that there were no survivors among the five men who were on board the Titan. This included OceanGate's founder and CEO, Stockton Rush, who was also the Titan's pilot. The other four individuals were British billionaire and adventurer Hamish Harding, 58 years old, Pakistani-born businessman Shahzada Dawood, 48, and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman, both British citizens, and French oceanographer and renowned Titanic specialist Paul Henry Narjolet, 77 years old, who had visited the wreck dozens of times. All of these individuals were British nationals. According to the statement made by the corporation, these men were true explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure, as well as a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. During this incredibly awful moment, our thoughts and prayers are with these five souls as well as each and every one of their families. There had been no sign of the Titan after search teams and support personnel from the United States, Canada, France, and Britain had spent days scouring thousands of square miles of open waters with planes and ships. The aftermath of a considerably worse maritime calamity that resulted from the wreck of a migrant vessel off the coast of Greece last week, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds of people, has been completely overshadowed by the intense worldwide media coverage of the search. Sounds that come from below. According to Mauger, it was too soon to say when Titan would meet its demise. According to Mauger, search crews had sonar boys in the water for more than three days in the area, but they were unable to find any signs of the loud and violent noise that would have been made when the submersible collapsed. However, based on the location of the debris field in relation to the shipwreck, as well as the time range of the final connection with the Titan, it appeared as though the malfunction had place on Sunday around the tail end of its descent. The United States Navy separately confirmed that an investigation of its own acoustic data had indicated an anomaly consistent with an implosion or explosion close to the location of the submersible when its communications were lost. This was stated in a separate statement. In a statement that was originally picked up by the Wall Street Journal, a senior Navy official was quoted as saying that, while not definitive, this information was immediately shared with the commanders of the search expedition. The sound was reportedly picked up by a top-secret device that was designed to detect enemy submarines, according to the journal, which cited anonymous U.S. defense officials. James Cameron, the director of the film Titanic, which won an Academy Award, and who has traveled to the site of the wreck in submersibles himself, stated on Thursday during an interview with Reuters that he became aware of the acoustic findings within a day and understood what they indicated. Cameron also stated that he knew what the findings signified. I informed everyone I know via email that we have lost some pals in the past few days. The submarine had detonated itself. It's currently lying on the ground in shattered bits. I dispatched that on the morning of Monday, you recalled. Sonar buoys that were dropped from aircraft on Tuesday and Wednesday picked up some sounds that momentarily brought optimism that the Titan was still intact and that its passengers were alive and trying to communicate by hammering on the hull. However, officials stated that the examination of the sound was inconclusive and that the noises most likely originated from another source. According to what Mauger indicated on Thursday, it does not appear that there is any relationship between the noises and the position on the seafloor. Vehicles that are controlled remotely. 
It was not immediately obvious if it would be able to collect the victim's remains given the nature of the disaster and the harsh conditions that prevailed at those depths, according to Mogger, who stated that robotic vessels currently operating on the sea will continue to gather evidence. The Admiral stated that they will start removing personnel and vessels from the scene within the next 24 hours. We will begin demobilizing personnel and vessels from the scene. The hunt had been getting increasingly urgent by Thursday, which was the day that the submersible's estimated 96-hour air supply was due to run out if the Titan were still intact, a countdown that turned out to be meaningless. During her maiden voyage in 1912, the RMS Titanic collided with an iceberg and sank, resulting in the deaths of more than 1,500 people aboard. The wreck of the Titanic can be found around 900 miles 1450 km, east of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and approximately 400 miles 640 km south of Street John's, Newfoundland. According to the website of the company, the price of participation in the submerged expedition to the wreck, which Oceangate has been leading since 2021, is $250,000 per person. During a symposium of submersible industry specialists in 2018, as well as in a lawsuit filed by Oceangate's former head of marine operations, which was settled later that year, concerns were expressed over the safety of the Titan. The exhaustive search calmed across a region of the water that was over 10,000 square miles in size, the search was expanded farther into the depths of the water on Thursday by the deployment of two specialized deep-sea robot vehicles. The mission was made more difficult by the extremely high pressure and the pitch-black darkness of the environment. The mystique that surrounds the Titanic contributed to the fact that the destiny of the tourist submersible attracted the interest of people all over the world. Over the course of a century, the unsinkable British passenger ship has been the subject of both factual and fictional narratives. In 1997, the movie Titanic which was a huge box office success, reignited public interest in the story. This is it for today's video. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.